So I have my lesson started in Smart Notebook. I've gone to my curriculum outcomes and got my lesson objectives. I have gone to Smart Exchange and found a few interactives and questions that I know I want to use. And the last thing I want to do is I want to get some videos from our video streaming sites. So I have open uh, Learn360 and I've searched for buoyancy. Discovery Education, again for buoyancy, and Access Learning. Um, I know I want to use the Access Learning video. And I want to use the one that's called Floating and Sinking. So what I'm going to do is instead of watching the video, because I've already watched it and I know I want to use it, I'm going to put my mouse over top of the Windows Media Download. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to save target as. Now for now, I'm just going to go and download it onto my desktop. I'm going to name it float or sync. And I'm also going to put access learning so that I know when I reference it where I got this from. And then I'm just going to let it download. Now that my video is downloaded, I want to insert the video into the Smart Notebook file. So I'm going to go over to the Attachments tab, which is the paperclip. I'm going to go down to Insert, and I'm going to insert a copy of the file. So that way that there is always a copy associated with this notebook file wherever I take it. I'm going to go down, open up Float or Sync Access Learning, and there it is. The next step is I want to actually display it on this page or have a link on this page. So I'm going to go into my picture frame. I'm going to find a picture of a boat and I'm just going to drag it onto the page just so that I have something to click on for my video file. From the drop down menu I'm going to select link and I'm going to link to the current attachment and then click on OK. Now when I click on the paper click here What's going to open up is the actual video file without having to stream it.